Thank you very much, uh, MP.
juu ni kiongozi mwenye anapenda wale watu wanajua kufanya kazi yao na tunashukuru asante sana mheshimiwa tofauti ya hii mmea ni kwamba hii mmea inastahimili hata wakati hakuna mvua mingi hii mmea ingine kama mahindi yenye tulikuwa tunarima kuna wakati inafika unaona hiyo mvua ikiisha hiyo mmea inakuja inaharibika lakini hii yenye tulikuwa tunarima saa hii inaonekana ni mmea yenye haitaki maji mingi kama hii mmea ingine tulikuwa tunarima na ndio sababu tunashukuru tukiuliza MP wetu kama watu wengine watu wengi wanataka kulima lakini juu ya hawana kitu kwa mfuko wanashidwa akitotafia partnership wale watu kama equity watakuja wasaidie wa, watu kulima na at least tutapata kitu kwa mfuko na tutainua jamii today is a big day we are celebrating a milestone because out of our hard work we planted this sorghum crop three months ago three months ago today we are harvesting and we are selling our produce to kenya breweries this is in line with the bottom up economic transformation agenda of the Kenya Kwanzaa government. You remember when we were campaigning, we said that people will get Pesa Mfukoni. We called it Pesa Mfukoni. And today you have witnessed it. We have left about 600,000 shillings in this constituency, in this ward, from 15 farmers. Uh, we have established a contract farming with contract farming with Kenya breweries. I went and negotiated with Kenya breweries that I could grow or my constituency could grow sorghum for them. Then this is the sorghum they use to make or to brew some of their beers. And they have promised that they are going to support the Moya farmer. They are here to stay. They have seen the potential in this constituency and they are going to be here all their time. Comparing with other crops like maize, maybe you have told us that sorghum is doing better. Maybe how is this going to change the economic situation of the residents of this area? Sorghum is a drought resistant crop. Maize requires more rain than, than, than sorghum. And you know, like I said earlier, Mwea is a semi arid place. The land which is not under irrigation is semi arid. So unless we get enough rainfall, the maize does not do well here. We've been planting. In fact, apart from this season, the last five years, we've been having a crop failure. We plant maize, the maize does not do well. It turns into, uh, into nothing or into onions, like it is commonly said. And we get nothing out of the maize that we plant. We plant, uh, we plant uh, beans, and we get nothing out of the beans because of the rainfall. The rainfall has not been enough for the last five years. So with a drought-resistant crop like sorghum, we are able to uh, get yields. See, as the future of sorghum in this constituency, I see a scenario where we'll be having people with factories that take care of the byproducts of the sorghum. Then they can manufacture things like animal feed. Then the farmer can have whole benefit. They can sell their sorghum and they can also sell the byproducts to the people who will be, uh, be making animal feeds. I am told that sorghum is very nutritious when it comes to animal feeds. Plus also, when we have this sorghum bought by Kenya breweries, Kenya breweries are able to employ even more people because there will be more sorghum to make their produce. Uh, kutoka hapo awali ilikuwa ni jambo la serikali kuleta kufanya nasema food security katika nchi ya Kenya. Na kwa leo nahakikisha kwamba huu mradi wa sogam utaongeza the food security katika constituency hii. Sogam inapo inachukuliwa na inachukuliwa kwa ground na KBL. Wanaweka pesa mfukoni na hiyo pesa ita, itawawezesha kuweza kukimu mahitaji ya familia zao na hasua katika hali ya chakula. Na ni furaha kubwa na makuu kukua katika wakati huu na kushuhudia ajira ambayo mwishimiwa katika tamu yake anaendelea kuleta na, ma, na yale matunda ambayo tunawana kwa, kwa wakati huu. Jambo la kuza soga mugu ni jambo ambalo litabadilisha mwea na kuipatia sura mpya Na kweli hata ajira itongezeka na jinsi mwishimiwa meri maingi anasema pesa ni mkononi na tumeshuhudia leo kwamba wakulima wawili wameweza kuwekewa pesa mfukuni na watenda nyumbani na watalisha familia